everyone will be yeah we will start so, so we are live right now uh, so session connected by uh, ibs topic is uh, a day in a b school a uh, speaker uh, dr rita agnekar uh, she is a dean at ibs uh, mumbai uh, she has been in this industry in 34 years 34 years experience in hr business operations academics and in lot of other areas including hr she has done a phd in management and worked in different companies right from mahindra's ranbaxy datamatics uh, talent acquisitions etc um she has conducted a lot of mdps um, her achievements have been that she has been uh, awarded a best faculty for institution building at ibs mumbai twice uh, won the devang meta award for best professor in hr 2013 awarded by bma one among the 100 academic heads to receive professor y k bhushan 100 most dedicated teachers of india award given by world education congress in november 2017 right uh, so i hand over the session to dr rita yeah. thanks yeah good evening uh, good evening to everyone uh, good evening mr patrick de souza good evening rochelle good evening to mr jyotira malave and my friend mr pratik shah good evening ma'am and a very good evening to all my dear students who have made the time to be here at 8 o'clock in the evening i hope all of you have eaten well so that then we can start off with our discussion on what does it mean and what is it like to be in a b school friends before i start off with what i'm going to tell you may i invite all of you to watch this small video which we have on ibs hyderabad which is our uh, i mean our campus in hyderabad the b school campus and you really enjoy watching this video so give me just a second let me share the video and let me start playing it for you so you'll have to tell me whether you can uh, whether it's playing well for you jyoti ram sir just give me Two minutes. Yes. Yes, sir. yes okay thank you friends for your patience did you like that i hope you liked it and i hope you got a small glimpse of what it is like to be on a b school campus uh, incidentally ibs hyderabad is a 100 acre campus uh, on the outskirts of hyderabad with state of the art facility so you have Uh, advanced learning halls you have an auditorium you have a huge campus which is a residential campus completely residential campus and of course you have plenty of recreational facilities to convert each one of you into a complete management professional and to give you a complete personality overhaul and uh, with that my dear friends let me also share my screen again with you to tell you about uh ikfai business school and uh, what does it mean to be on a b school campus so just tell me uh, can you see the screen can you see the screen if you can you just mention yes jyoti ram sir can actually help me tell me whether yeah it is visible now it is visible right so friends before um, i get very deep all of you 
are looking forward to a life ahead. Each one of you wants to become a management professional. And you all know that to be a management professional, a step or an essential step that you have to take is to join a B-School and get yourself a management program, a management degree. You call it an MBA, you call it a PGPM, you call it a PGDM or a PGDBA. You have to go through that journey. And therefore, all of you must be wondering, what is it like to be in a B-School? What is life like? All of Everyone tells you that you have to join a B-School. And I can see that all of you are preparing very hard to get into a management program. What's a normal day in a B-School like? Let's look at it. Okay. Well, being in a B-School means having learning with a lot of academic and scholastic development. So you reach from here to here. A B-School essentially is also about your personal development and your professional development. So you know, they use the term becoming corporate ready. It's not only about becoming corporate ready, it's also about being ready to take on a life, a career in business management and management. So in due course of time, over the next, you know, in two years, you will develop higher order thinking. And not only that, the B-School is not only about studies and studies. It's also about a, having a very vibrant student and campus life. And in the entire process, what happens is that you discover a new you. You discover your inner potential, which you never knew existed in you. And just like a caterpillar comes out of the cocoon and it goes through that entire metamorphosis, one day the butterfly flies out, you suddenly realize that you've been completely transformed. And how does it happen? How does it happen? Now, it's very nice for me to tell you that two in two years, you will be a butterfly or taking your flight into the sky. But for that, for that, there are things that you have to do when you are studying or when you are doing your management program. And typically, unlike what you did in your graduation days, you attended classes, the teacher spoke, and we all attended traditional classes. B-School is about learning by doing which means that in your class discussions, you will do most of the talking and your teachers or your faculty will just facilitate you. You will learn through case studies, you learn through a lot of activities and you will be making, before you know it, you will be making so many presentations that by the time you finish your management program, you would be a ready presentation professional. Not only that, every B-School has what you call as a lot of student activities. And these student activities are done either through recreational activities, your clubs or uh, conferences or conclaves that will be organized by the students and managed by the students. You will be managing the finance and the operations for all your club activities. On a daily basis, you would be interacting with the best of corporate personalities, practicing managers who will walk into your classes to share some courses and speak to you and interact with you, teach you about what is it, what life is like in the corporate world. So it's not about theoretical teaching. It is about learning what actually happens in practice inside an organization. An integral part of your school life would be that you go out of outbound projects, you move out, you see what the world of work is like. And for that, it's mandatory that you do a very meaningful internship. Just incidentally would like to say that at IBS, we have a 14 week long internship. And that 14 week long internship is assessed. It is graded so that no management student takes his internship program lightly. It's taken very seriously to so become a complete professional. And on a daily basis, there will be various instances where you'll have to demonstrate 
what you call as personal leadership, small things. You'll be interacting with the office boys. You'll be interacting with your batch mates, with your juniors, with your teachers. You'll be working with your teachers on projects. You'll be doing live projects with the industry. And all of that will, on a daily basis, make you discover. So when you go back home in the evening, you'll say, what leadership aspect of me did I discover in me today? And you would have an entire diary to write over there. So that's what B-School Life is all about. So you have sports and recreation, outbound projects, which I already spoke to you about. Lots and lots of cultural events. So with lots of clubs, uh, which are both intellectual domain and your cultural clubs, there would be song, dance, drama, but all with a management touch. You'll go to the library, not only to read the books, but you'll go to have library discussions. And you will enjoy all the time having intellectual uh, engagements, you have debates, there are language forums where you get to, uh, where you actually get to hone your language skills. Before you know it, your linguistic proficiency would have been improved. And you will not even, not only watch movies, you will make movies in a B-School environment. Are you getting that? Let me tell you how. You have what you call as international visits. So no management education would be complete unless you have seen the world. You need to know what's happening across the globe. Today, all of us are very happy that Mr. Rishi Sunak has become the uh, Prime Minister of Britain. What a pleasure to see your own person over there. And when you go out there and see the entire world, we all aspire that one day we could all be international personalities, right? In addition to your normal program, you would have to go through more certification programs, but learning never stops. And because learning never stops, you will also have access to a lot other certification programs, which will enhance your potential to become an employable professional or a management professional ready to take on the world of work. Analytics today is a major aspect of work. Friends, you agree with me over that? Today, every domain, for example, you look at finance, you look at HR, operations, marketing, everything, all these domain areas today are not standalones. While there is enough to learn in each of these domains, technology, advanced technology, and a lot of development and analytics has made it very, very imperative now to, uh, I would say, integrate a lot of these areas. So a, a, a heavy percentage of analytics is embedded into each of these domains. And that's where you'll see the beauty of analytics and subjects like finance, HR, marketing being taught to you together. And this is something that will enhance your potential to interpret data and analyze data. Because why is that important? It's important because if you are able to analyze data, if you are able to interpret it, you will be able to make smart reports to your superiors and you will get noticed for higher positions. Are we getting that? And that's where you will be looking at a lot of analytics platforms, right? And that is not all. As you join through your semesters, I will now be telling you about how we go through the semesters. But at the end of the, as you, as you, uh, as you course through your management program, you suddenly realize that it's now time for me to step into the world of work. And that is where placements comes in. So while you're studying, while you're doing your semester one, semester two, your internship and going through your electives and you're getting yourself ready with your management knowledge, the placement team is constantly working alongside you and along with the faculty, with your teachers to get you employable, uh, uh, what, what, what can I call it? Employment ready or placement ready? Or I can also call it 
career ready, which means that when you're out after your classes, you would be taking or you would be training yourself additionally through your teachers and through, through the placement team on how to do aptitude tests, how to speak well in a group discussion or your interview prepare, preparation. Today, for example, most of the recruiters, the campus recruiters who come in for selection will not give you a normal group discussion. There would be a group discussion with a twist and you would, you would have to analyze a case study as part of a group discussion. You will have to look at the international scenario as part of a group discussion. And that is where uh, the career management team will be parallelly developing you to take the final lap, which is your placement process. And before you know it, and you know, at, during all of this time, your teachers are constantly telling you, come on, do this, do that, do that. So you will not have even time to find out what's happening. You'll be so engaged. And do you know what is the, what's the takeaway or the best part of the whole thing? You will not have time for any negative activity, anything that distracts you, and you will be in a complete state of flow. All of this while you're also doing your student activities. So there is also something called a vibrant campus life. You are going to bond with your teammates. You're going to make friends, new friends. You will learn from your seniors. And before you know it, you will say, come on, let the next batch come in. I can teach them a thing or two. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. You agree with me, right? And therefore, you can't have a campus life without any recreation. So you will go to the gym. You will have your wellness programs. You will have your sports. Somebody would be on the tennis field. Somebody would be playing table tennis. Someone else would like indoor games. And you may have a somebody else who would be into creatives and would be making things with their own hands. All right. Friends, now uh, with all this in the background, let me now introduce you to what we have in store for you. I'm very proud today to speak to you about ICFI Business School. And let me tell you why I'm so happy to speak to you about it. This institute has made me, and more than having made me, it has made 60,000 plus professionals who are out there in the world today. They are working across the globe in various careers. The day before yesterday, one of my students from the batch of 2010 walked in to give me a surprise. He was my student. He was my intern. And he walks up to me and he flourishes his card. And he says, I'm a director with Deloitte. Now, friends, what a pleasure and proud moment it would have been for me to have him walk up to me. And with all that, such a humble person. It's only when I saw his card that I realized that he's a director in a company. So that's the kind of alumni who we have in IB, uh, uh, across India and across the globe in various strategic companies and in strategic locations. All right. IBS has nine campuses. IBS Hyderabad is located in uh, 40 kilometers from the main city, it's a fully residential campus. And the other campuses are in Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Gurgaon, Pune, Mumbai, Kolk Calcutta, Jaipur, and in Dehradun. Now, IBS Hyderabad, Dehradun, Jaipur, and Bangalore give you an MBA, while the others are autonomous bodies and offer a postgraduate program in management. Right. What are the programs of what MBA, PGPM, as I told you, and also a PhD for four years for those who wish to do a full time and a part time PhD program. These are the fees for those of you who wish to know. We can speak about those later. Like I said, MBA, Hyderabad, Bangalore give you an MBA. 
And the postgraduate program in management, you can be a graduate in any discipline with a minimum of 50% marks. And if you're awaiting your results and if you're in the final year, you can also uh, be, make yourself eligible for the IBSAT examination. Now, why IBS? You would say, why should one join IBS? And why not choose another B school? There are four reasons for this. And these four reasons are very heavy, let me tell you, because there's a lot packed into this. One is because when other B schools do not or take almost five years or 10 years to upgrade their curriculum, IPS believes in upgrading its curriculum every year. And how do we do that? We interact and collaborate with the best in the industry. I just spoke to you about practicing managers. We constantly speak to our advisory council members who are all senior practicing managers in the industry. And we have platforms where we upgrade and bring in the very latest in the field of finance, marketing, HR and operations and IT into our curriculum. Every year, IPS has highly enriching job profiles. When I say highly enriching job profiles, there is no profile which will just let you sit down and relax. It's all about proving yourself there consistently. Today, there are more than 2,500 companies on board our campus recruitment repertoire. And day after day, and friends, today, right now, when I'm talking to you, there are 10 selection processes going on in my institution. There are interviews going on. There are group discussions going on. And believe it or not, today, we have crossed the 70% mark in recruitment in campus placements. Only 30% students are now left to be placed. And out of that, those of them who wish to go on for personal businesses are the ones who might drop out of placements. But otherwise, by November end, we would have said thank you to all our campus recruiters. And this happens year after year, year after year. And why? Why does it happen? Because student development is our major focus. Not a single student is deprived of any opportunity he can get, he or she can get, or rather I would say she or he can get to develop themselves, not only for academics, but also to join the selection process. So that would be through webinars, that would be through uh, continuous discussions, that would be through continual evaluation. Industry speakers, constantly interact with our students by coming in through guest lectures, practicing, uh, joining as, as practicing managers by sharing courses, and also acting as industry mentors. The latest that we have right now in IBS is that we have an alumni buddy or an alumni mentor for each one of our students, so can, he can handhold each one of the student and correct him and make sure that he reaches his career path, all right? Continuous evaluation. So it's not as if each one of our students gets evaluated only by writing an exam at the end. Each course has six sets of continual evaluation, which means that every 15 days, you have to be on your toes to ensure that you perform and you put in your best attendance and make sure that you're ahead of everyone through your assignments, tests, seminars, projects, live projects. 60 of our students are currently doing live projects with the industry, right? And all of this happens not through a classroom lecture, but through experiential learning methods, learning by doing or activities or exercises or case-based projects, right? Friends, let me tell you about the kind of courses that we have. So our program structure has 30 courses, which means there are 22 compulsory courses, eight electives. So how does it happen? Semester one, when you join, of course, when you join for the first time, semester, you join for the preparatory classes. So in May, when you join for your prep classes, 
you will go through a 15 day focused integrated program which will give you an introduction to management after your basics in management you will then join your semester one semester one you will do eight subjects again in semester two you will go through four electives and three compulsory subjects all right you then move on in the month of february for your 12 to 14 week summer internship program so your summer internship program is a very critical aspect of your development now why because any other b school or management program will put you through a cursory a mandatory program which would be for a month or two months at ibs we take our internship program very seriously what would that mean it would mean that you would have a faculty mentor you will have an industry mentor and you go through three levels of evaluation and after which you make a panel presentation to an industry and a faculty panel which means that by the time you come out of your internship you are a complete professional and then you're free to choose your electives and move on to your specialization programs ibs is the only institute i repeat friends ibs is the only institute which has integrated soft skills development and personality development into the mainstream program so it's a credit program and you have to pass your soft skills to be eligible to get your management degree right you cannot take your soft skills slightly because that is very important for you not only to perform in your placement process but also for you to do well in the industry and become the leader that you want to be the post graduation program okay now what's so great about ips you go to any campus today you'll see that there is the best of infrastructure in all the campuses all the classes are called learning halls there are huge technically equipped learning halls which are designed for the case study discussion method and which are also designed for a lot of technical practice there are smart boards in every learning hall across all campuses every campus has a dedicated i repeat every campus has a dedicated analytics lab and an sql lab a center for language proficiency and a center for analytics practice during placements and this entire infrastructure helps you to develop an analytical bent of mind along with your management studies and also to develop your communication skills there is a gym in every campus there is an atrium in every campus there is an auditorium in every campus ibs hyderabad has three auditoriums ibs mumbai has two auditoriums and all ca other campuses have large auditoriums which make it possible for all of you to attend your events to project yourselves and to perform on all of the in all of these uh, you know all the activities that you have this is how semester one looks quickly take a look i may uh, if you want me to read it out i will but then there will not be no time uh, we have business analytics now which has been introduced recently this is how semester two looks so in semester two you have advanced marketing management macroeconomics business analytics too and personal effectiveness management i spoke to you about soft skills which is an integrated uh, integral part and this is again graded semester three you take you have strategic management and you take three like uh, four electives and a soft skills lab semester four elective five elective six elective seven and elective eight and a compulsory subject business ethics and corporate governance here are some electives we have more than 77 electives it's a huge basket out of which you can choose now there's no restriction on the combination that you can take in any of these electives you can choose your electives you can make your combination by 
consulting with your faculty and also consulting with your placement managers or your industry mentors. So some of the sub, these are, these are the subjects. Take a look, subjects in finance, accounting, banking and finance, market research, investment banking, treasury marketing, uh, treasury management, digital marketing, which is an integral and which is an upcoming subject now, strategic marketing management, customer relationship management. And for those of you who wish to make a career in advertising, there's also a separate subject called advertising and communications management. Human resource management. Friends, today there's a lot of development in HR management and analytics is coming in a big way in, uh, in HR. And therefore, HR analytics has been integrated over the last uh, three years. Industrial relations, learning and development, talent management and employment laws. Operations, especially after the pandemic, you would have seen that logistics and infrastructure has uh, developed in a big way. And there's a large need for professionals in the area of supply chain, as well as operations management and in IT and in IT enabled services. So you also have electives and operations and IT enabled services and IT. Now, why should you take all this from IBS? Uh, IBS, what, how is it distinct? One, you will not get away with ac without academic rigor. So constantly your teachers are with you to ensure that you do well in your studies, do your projects, do your assessment, talk, speak up, participate in case studies, do your journaling, submit your assignments. So you're going to be busy all the time. Your curriculum is industry driven, so you know that you're learning the latest. And all your faculty members are highly experienced to come with corporate experience. Most of them come with 15, 20 years of corporate experience and all are PhDs. And what's the beauty of IBS friends? I'm not saying this because I'm here, but on a normal day, when you see you get to interact with a diverse set of people and who are those, they are all your your batchmates or your seniors, they come from all parts of India. So it's a heterogeneous group. You have someone coming from Rajasthan, you have someone from Kerala, you have, you have someone coming from Orissa, Bengal, Maharashtra, Karnataka. What a medley. So this diverse and talented set of people, you will get to learn so many languages, learn from each other and learn each other's cultures. And that makes for a very vibrant campus life. Friends, you can see this picture over here. This is my student. He has just got placed with Deloitte. And he said, now, what you see over there is a corporate board, which I, I took a picture of that from the campus to show you. So you'll see a vibrant corridor, you know, with lots of plaques and lots of softboards, which are all manned by the students. And IBS is a pathbreaker in placements, right? which, are, which is why you're getting continuous career and placement counseling, psychometric testing, building your language proficiency. And all of this is done through an integration of student activities and through campus activities. Right? I already spoke to you about our faculty and most of them and all of them blend teaching techniques, not only with their subjects, but with technology and with analytics. Live projects with industry give you a sample or you know help you to get a bite of what, what is it like to work with the industry. So after the classes, the students go and spend some time in the, with the company where they're doing their live projects and help their managers out to find solutions to typical business problem which only young minds like you can come up with because youngsters are brighter in their, uh, uh, in their uh, uh, what you say, uh, thinking. You are more analytical, you are more uh, sharper in your thinking. And therefore, you would be able to, uh, you would be able to give them better solutions. All right. Uh, 
I already spoke to you about the student activities. So see the clubs that you have. You have a finance and economics club and on the other side, you have the digital ambassadors and you have a sports club also. Uh, this is how the clubs are divided. Friends, next week in IBS Mumbai, two teams of students will be visiting Europe and uh, Great Britain on an international immersion. They're going to France, Italy, Germany, and Spain. Similarly, one team from IBS Pune is already right now in Dubai. And what they would be doing is they would be visiting uh, other B schools and visiting industries abroad to get a glimpse of how business happens in other countries. This is an annual feature and uh, on an annual basis, a minimum of two teams visit abroad. These are some pictures and I'm very proud, very proud to show you a picture of one of our faculty members, very dear, he teaches analytics and all our faculty are involved continuously in the lives and development of each student. So your faculty could act as your teacher, as your mentor. And once in a while, when you're feeling low, she also acts as your friend. And what else can one look for in a teacher, right? Right? Happening corridors, are we talking about, okay? These are some of the corridors. These, uh, these pictures that you see, are the club soft boards. So every club has its board and every week or every day, they showcase the happenings of their club. So this is Marco Filia, the largest club, marketing club of IBS, right? And of course, soft skills development that I spoke to you about. In addition to the projects, you also have mock stocks and industry visits wherein you would even go to, let's say, National Stock Exchange or Bombay Stock Exchange to get an idea of how the stock market functions. And this becomes an annual activity, all right? Uh, I spoke to you about the summer internship program. It's a 14-week summer internship program, which is graded. Every student is graded and you get an industry mentor and a faculty mentor who would be guiding you throughout. And at the end of your internship, you compile a project report, which you will present before a panel. This is a very beautiful example. And this is a one of, one of its kind program because your faculty mentor visits your internship company thrice to check on your progress and to ensure that your internship becomes very meaningful for you, right? Uh, soft skills, like I told you, so in all the three semesters, SEM1, SEM2, and SEM3, you have business communication, personal and professional effectiveness management. And the third semester focuses completely on getting you ready for your dream company through group discussion, interview practice, or CV building. While at the same time, the Center for Language Development is telling us how we can improve our language skills, how we can articulate and speak English well to make our mark with the industry. Uh, let me now come to what is, I'm sure most of, of on your mind, and I'm going to take about five minutes or a little more over here. Today, like I tell you, all campuses have crossed the 60% placements mark already and not in november but in october 2022 this is for the batch of 2023 and look at this by december we would have completed now in 2021 all ips campuses had crossed the 100 percent placements mark in december 2021 uh what are some of the job profiles what are some of the job profiles okay let me look at these are the recruiters only a glimpse of some of the recruiters. What are the placement opportunities in finance? Capital markets, equity research, fintech, which is a new area, upcoming area right now. Valuation, another new area coming up now. So students 
are trained on how to appear for these processes, let's say through your certification programs, skill-based certification and your domain-based certifications, through all your GDs, presentations, data analytics, and these are the profiles. These are the profiles. So what kind of placements would you get in capital markets? You could join as an equity research analysis, uh, an analyst, for example, companies would require you to advise clients on what are the best options to uh, invest in stocks and equities, equities. And you as a young equity research professional could assist your managers or could advise your manage managers. FinTech, look at the profiles. Fixed in income valuation and analytics. You could join as a risk analyst, a credit risk analyst, credit analyst, finance analyst, or in collateral management, regulatory management. All of these you start as an analyst. Some recruiters who come in for finance profiles, National Stock Exchange, AK Capital, BlackRock, JP Morgan Chase, uh, Morgan Stanley, Nomura, Credit Swiss, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs. Now, what do they come for? You, you also have post-trade technology who, comes, who come in and you have investment companies. Uh, investment management companies such as BlackRock, UBS, Blackstone, Sequent Capital, Deutsche Bank, all of these come in for finance profiles. There are opportunities in Big Four Consulting, such as ENY, PwC, KPMG, Deloitte. A lot of Big Four companies come in for US taxation profiles. So helping overseas clients with their tax plans, tax advisory consulting audit advisory companies. And friends, you know, about four years back, if you had asked me whether such opportunities are available, I would have said no. But today, this is a big and upcoming area and there are plenty of profiles available in US taxation and FinTech and uh, analytics profiles. Now, what is the training that is given to you? You would say, yes, ma'am, I know that all these profiles are there, but how do I prepare myself? So simultaneously, along with your regular classes, you are given additional inputs in all of this, where you are trained on Excel, advanced Excel, Excel analytics. External or your teachers come in to train you hands-on on these. Financial statement analysis, ex, uh, you know, in deep grooming in all of these areas, regular webinars and seminars for you in your classes. Practicing managers come in and they actually help you to work this hands-on. Fundamental analysis, additional training programs and Power BI, which is coming in in a big way. And with all of that, you can't do finance without having good communication skills. So, for programs such as for, for companies such as Deloitte, et cetera, in addition to numericals, you're also trained on what you call as versant, which is using the right kind of words and being ready for communicating with international clients. And that's where your communication skills training comes in. We get it? TCS, Wipro, HCL, Accenture, Capgemini. Now, what are the capabilities that they require? They need you to have an analytical bent of mind and also need you to know your subjects well. And this grooming you would get through your additional placement inputs or through your classes, all right? Some of the future areas that are going to come into placements for which we prepare ourselves right in advance. BFSI, OTT, online gaming, MSME, artificial intelligence, a lot of opportunities coming in healthcare management, especially because of uh, the pandemic. Now healthcare has become a very big area for and a lot of hiring in, in these and co-working spaces and in e-commerce, right? Some of the placement opportunities, again, in uh, finance, as you can see, I've spoken to you, accountancy and tax, corporate law, compliance and risk, investment banking, fund management and allocation, retail banking. So you could join as a relationship manager 
in retail banking. What are the profiles? Analyst, market research analyst, web research specialist, web designer. You could be a content writer. Today, there's a lot of uh, requirement for content writers in marketing because there's a lot of digital marketing that's happening and a lot of writing is required over there. For those of you who are very good in writing could become content writers or you could be a relationship manager. So these are the placement opportunities in marketing. Now, for marketing placements, you are given special training in marketing and sales skills, Tableau, data, visualization, communication skills. These are the companies that you can look out for. Logistics and supply management. What are the companies that come in? Chroma, Pepper Fry, Cafe Coffee Day, the Abra Group in supply chain, 20 Cubes, Amazon, GEP, Logiserve, ITC. In services operations, you have banks which come in for supply chain, the big four. And BASF, LNT comes in, uh, ACC Cements. There's a lot of opportunity in real estate also. In, in those of you who wish to do HR, the profiles that come in are for talent acquisition, HR analytics, leadership roles in talent acquisition, learning and development. Recently, there was, I mean, a profile which wanted marketing professionals to join as learning and development professionals. And the package was nothing less than 10 lakhs, all right, for an HR professional. Assistant manager, LND, HR strategy, you could join in. Here, you need to have your labor laws very well. Uh, you need to know your labor law. Key sectors. So these are the key sectors. I've just given you a glimpse of this. You can take a look, financial services, banking, consultancy, education, real estate, which is now coming up in a big way. And they need, uh, because real estate now is corporatized and they need smart young professionals to play uh, relationship management or, you know, a very critical front of the house roles in management. Media and research. I spoke to you about pharma and healthcare logistics and construction. New uh, sectors that I spoke to you about already, brain is coming in. And I just thought I'll show you a glimpse of the average specialization wise CTC that one could expect. Finance, 17.2, highest. Uh, HR, 10, this year, we might expect it to go even to 13. There are more placements coming in. Marketing, again, 50. One of our alumni got placed at 50 lakhs and operations at 12 lakhs. Now, friends, this is what I'm talking to you about in the month of November. We definitely look forward to crossing this mark in the next one month to come. So there are still, it's still happening. All right. Uh, if there are any questions with regard to this, I would be very happy to take this because I've spoken to you about placements. I've spoken to you about the kind of profiles that you could get. I've spoken to you about uh, academically, academically, what can you, uh, what would you expect? Uh, there's one thing that I would like to tell you which is that if you ask any alumnus about what does it mean to be with IBS, he would say that the experience of two years, having been on the campus for two years, having experienced campus life, being with your batchmates, being with your teachers, having organized your events. Now, next month, all the campuses would have their annual festival. We call it the annual fest. At IBS Mumbai, we have conflux. And on December 16, we have a marathon in Pawai. You are all invited to join the marathon. And we would be running for the cause of health because health has become such a big thing today. And these are flagship events which are conducted on all campuses. And it's fun. It's great to be with all of the, in all of these. 
while we are at it, I would request you to remember these important gates for you to fill up your forms and to get ready for your IBSAT entrance exam. So the application forms are already released. IBSAT 22 is, will be on the 24th and 25th of December, 2022. IBSAT 22, 2022 results will be out in the first week of January, 2023. After that, we have what you call as selection briefings, wherein if you have any doubts, once you have cleared your IBSAT, before you go in for your group discussion and personal interview, you would have a lot of questions. And that will be solved for you and your parents in the selection briefings, which would be in the second week of January. And you move on for your selection process, which would comprise of your group discussion and PI in the month of Feb, between 10th Feb till March. So that's so much. Gear up, my dear friends. I'm open to questions now, if there is, if there are any questions. And uh, Jyoti Ram, sir, would you like to say something here about uh, the IBSAT 2022? Over to you, sir. Uh, yes, good evening, uh, all of you. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you so much, ma'am, for a wonderful information uh, uh, about uh, IBS and you know, life at a B school. Uh, so students like, as ma'am mentioned, like, you know, already the application started uh, for IBS from uh, July itself. And we have uh, the exam, IBSAT exam, it is in the month of December. Uh, that is, there are 24th and 25th. These are the two dates. And the slot bookings also have been started. Uh, after doing uh, like uh, registrations, you can fix up the uh, date whichever you are looking. Then after the exam, like uh, once you give, once you will get qualified, uh, the there will be a, a like you know the result will be in the month of January first week. And once you will get qualified, you will get a call for a selection briefing, a selection process. A selection process will be in the month of uh, Feb and March. Where like you know uh, the your selection is purely based on the GD and PI performance. So GD will give you uh, twenty five percent marks. PI will give you twenty five percent marks, and your past academic will give you fifty percent marks. Where IBS considers your tenth, twelfth, and uh, graduation uh, performance like uh, marks. Okay, and at the time of selection process, students. You can give your campus preferences. Sir, I'm looking for IBS Hyderabad. I'm looking for IBS Mumbai. I'm looking for IBS Pune. Whatever campus preferences are there, like you can keep the preferences number one, number two, number three, number five. Accordingly, the nine preferences you can put in. And subject to your performance in selection process, the campus will be allotted to you. And then the admission process starts. So uh, related to this, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask. Pratik, uh, Sir, we also have training. We also have training sessions for the interview preparation. So, if you can just inform the students about the same. Yes. So, uh, students, as like Pratik mentioned, like once you registered for IBSAT uh, exam, we provide a lot of mock tests where, like you know, students they get a uh, like practice as well as you get a confidence for IBSAT exam. Apart from that, uh, like once you get qualified for the selection process, we keep like we arrange certain uh, mock uh, GD and PI sessions also, which give you a lot of practice. And, uh, you know, uh, students, like once you get selected, uh, we have announced uh, the, the, from this year that a scholarship program. So across country, there are like the, uh, the total scholarship that is worth rupees 10 crores. So over, over there, like, you know, the uh, candidates, as per the performance, whoever gets selected, on the basis of performance in IBSAT, on the basis of performance in CAT, uh, ZAT, and NMAT. So uh, you get this scholarship uh, like uh, rupees 2 lakh each. So this, uh, like, you know, this will help you. This, like, you know, 2 lakh rupees, whoever will achieve, it will be waived out from your fees itself. Sir, Koshal ma'am has one question. What are the cutoffs for the various campuses? So if you can just uh, guide on that. Yes, uh, good question. 
see uh, basically like you know one uh, uh, the performance as already i have uh, told you that uh, the selection is purely based on the merit okay whatever performance you give in the selection process on the basis of that you get this score like as i told you that uh, uh, 50% marks from for a gdn pi and 50% marks on the basis of your past academic so uh, like the campuses like hyderabad uh, mumbai pune gurgaon so if you see the like you no know, hyderabad the initial cut off that goes 90 percentile up and then uh, similarly like mumbai uh, it goes 85 percentile up at the initial stage so similarly like the uh, the cut offs will be there for various campuses so in short sir out of 100 in gd and pi they have to score minimum 90 plus to get into hyderabad and 85 plus to get into mumbai uh yes that will be yes yes any any and any other jyotiram sir that that video was not played uh, so if you can request rita ma'am to play that video of hyderabad okay uh if you can tell me uh how whether it is visible when i'm showing it to you then i mean it would be helpful all right so uh, shall we show it again now uh, yes yeah okay just a minute Can you see the video? No, ma'am. Can you see it now? No, ma'am. You cannot. No, no. Okay, just a minute. Let's see what we. Okay, the video is playing right now. So if you can't see, uh, No issues, ma'am. I think maybe some technical glitches. We can okay. cover it up later on. Yeah. No okay. problem. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just a minute. Jyoti Ram, sir, would you be able to show it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ma'am, can you uh, give me the sharing authority? Yes, please. Just a minute. Just a minute. So. visible yeah but no audio sir yeah now now it's visible yeah yes
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was very nice. That was very nice. Thank you, Jyoti Ram. Thank you, ma'am. So, ma'am, do we are there any questions? I'll be happy to answer. Whatever you wish to ask, you can ask. Students are welcome to feel free and ask questions. Uh Uh, Ma'am, no, as I thought, there are no questions as such. What we can do, we can wind up the sessions. Anyway, this is this will be there on a YouTube as such. So any questions, okay. we can take it up later on. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you have any questions, Mr. D'Souza? So we, on behalf of the students, we can I'll take come it. and ask you. I have no problem in coming and asking you directly. But yeah, okay. thank you. It was a wonderful session. We will pass okay. on this video to all our students during the interview training because I think it was quite uh, useful. So mm -hmm. yes. Uh, so anyway, I'll come connect with you again later stage definitely yeah. thank thank you very much for the session thank you wishing thank you, you all the best thank you so much sir. all the yes. best thank you rochelle thank you uh, mr patrick thank you prateek and thank you mr jyoti ramadan good night thank, thank you so much ma'am ma'am uh, thank you rochelle ma'am for a fantastic career to everyone yes thanks good night bye bye good night thanks prateek